All right, let's compare OLAP to OLTP, so online transactional processing versus online analytical processing. When we're talking about OLTP, we're generally using databases. Uh, so databases is built to store current transactions and enables fast access to specific transactions for ongoing business processing. So think of uh, you know any kind of SQL server. And then on the right-hand side, we have data warehouses. A data warehouse is built to store large quantities of historical data and enable fast, complex queries across all the data. So when we visually look at it, the OLTP, we have a bunch of small transactions that are uh, evenly uh, distributed. So they look pretty similar on the read and writes. And then for a data warehouse, we have very, very few uh, uh, retransactions and uh, we have large payloads. I think that the arrows are supposed to be pointing this way but that's okay, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, so when we're talking about databases, you have a single data source, you have short transactions, small and simple queries with an emphasis on writes, many transactions, laden it's latency sensitive, and you have small payloads. On the OLAP side, we have multiple data sources. So you're ingesting data, long transactions, long and complex queries with an emphasis on reads, fewer transactions or very few, and throughput sensitive and large payloads. The use case over here would be general purpose, adding items to your shopping cart would be an example. A use case on the analytics side would be generating reports. So there you go.